Many people believe Social Security and Medicare are fully funded by payroll taxes. But the unfortunate truth is that both programs are increasingly relying on regular tax revenue and ultimately more federal debt to stay afloat. It's been this way for years now. In 2016 alone, $90 billion of Social Security funding didn't come from payroll taxes. And that amount is only continuing to grow. Medicare gets even less of its money from payroll taxes. Over $300 billion came from general tax funds to cover physician care and prescription drugs, meaning only 37% of its spending was funded by payroll taxes. In the end, Social Security and Medicare are responsible for half of the current federal deficit. And due to our aging population, that share is growing over time. The uncomfortable truth is that what retirees have paid toward Social Security has been spent. And what they've paid toward Medicare is only a fraction of what they've been promised they'll receive. Unless we reform both programs to lower their future costs, we'll be left with a mountain of debt and we won't be able to afford any other government services.